Hi, this is Miss Lavodi, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to do a handwritten typography portrait using Adobe Capture and Tayasui Sketches Pro. First off, what is typography? Typography is the art and technique of arranging type to make written language legible, readable, and appealing when displayed. Canadian illustrator Sean Williams is known for his typographic portraits of singers and actors. Each one is hand illustrated and uses quotes, lyrics from the celebrity's work. Notice how the style, size, and placement of the letters suggest the directions of the forms of the face and of the hair. For this project, we'll be turning a favorite photo you have of an inspirational person into a typographic portrait. We're going to start off with a photograph that is well lit, clear, and of good resolution. We'll put that photograph through the Adobe Capture app to stylize it into a black and white stencil image. Then we'll be using the Taisui Sketches Pro app to create the typography over the stencil portrait. I use my own handwriting as the typography for this portrait. The Adobe Capture app lets you create vector shapes of anything. You can point your camera at something and instantly achieve an illustrator style shape that looks like stencil art. Let's import our photo and turn it into a stencil. This is a portrait of my friend Melissa, and you'll notice that it's a well-lit reference photo. In Adobe Capture, it'll take a portrait like that and turn it into this style. It's super quick and easy to do. Start by locating and opening up your Adobe Capture app on your device. You'll notice there's a few shapes and patterns in my gallery already. Import your image by clicking the plus sign at the bottom. You're going to import it from your camera roll, so find your portrait on your device. And then you'll notice once it's in the app, it's automatically going to show you the portrait as a shape. You can use the sliding scale on the right hand side to adjust how much darkness you want to add to the portrait. You can also draw in missing details as needed. With the draw tool on the bottom of the screen in the middle, you can select a small brush size that matches your portrait and you can add some lines or fill in some more areas of solid black to add details where you want them to be. It's important to do this before we move on to the smoothing feature of the app. So I really like that they give you the option to do this because it really helps you clean up edges and find edges and not have to spend more time in a different app adding these details directly onto your picture. So it lets you take care of it right here in the capture app. So I'm adding some lines around the outer edge of the hair so that way I can see where the, that hairline edge is and it doesn't look like it's just disappearing into the background space. Um, you can be kind of, you know, quick with this. Um, it's going to stylize your lines anyway and smooth them out. So don't worry about it being perfect. Just add some extra lines or details where you think you need them. If you don't think your image needs any other details drawn in, then you might be able to skip this step. From here, I'm going to click Smooth. On the top menu, you will notice it's to the right of the word Crop. So I'm selecting Smooth, and what this is going to do if I click the On button underneath the portrait, it is going to automatically generate a smoother edge for my shape. This is what really gives the portrait that Adobe Illustrator vector shape kind of look, um, and it is our final stencil look that we want to achieve. So you just need to give the app some time to generate the image. Um, it's kind of drawing and doing all the hard stuff for you automatically, which is a real big time saver. It's amazing. So 
So from here you can see that it reveals your final shape in that nice smooth vector style outline and I'm able to now save this by clicking the save icon up in the right hand corner and this will save it to my device. If you use Adobe Creative Cloud then you're going to be able to use this across your other cloud uh, apps such as Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, but for those of us that aren't using Photoshop or Illustrator to complete our image, we can simply save this to our camera roll and utilize it in other iPad apps that we have available.